I'm the GM of the Philadelphia 76ers. We currently have the 15th pick in the draft and are narrowing down our list of draft targets. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to ask you a couple questions. It takes a strong will to play here in Philadelphia. If you give your heart and soul to the team, the fans will support you completely with their adoration. On the other hand, if you ever badmouth them or not give 100% out on the court, they will turn on you in a heartbeat and boo you relentlessly. They truly are the best fans in basketball and expect nothing less than your best. Do you think you have the makeup to play in this city? Man, absolutely. I mean, some of my best friends are from Philly. Guys like Jive Turkey 215 one of my best buds, iPod King Carter, he's from Philly too. And not to mention my homie Ronick, real rap, real shit. <laughs> Excuse my language. But on the real, who wouldn't want to ball in one of the greatest cities in America? Next question. What do you think you'll bring to a franchise as far as marketability? Hmm, I'm from New York. And you know, my two favorite foods are New York pizza and Philly cheesesteaks. You put the two together, and I'm bringing a different type of flavor to the league. And I don't know about you, but I'm kind of hungry. Hungry for a title. Okay, that's all I have. I love what I heard here. We would love to have you join us. Hey, we'll be in touch. Going? Good game tonight. I'm the scouting director for the Bucks. We have the 14th pick in the draft, and I'm considering using it on you. I'd like to ask you a couple questions real quick, if you don't mind. We realize that here in Milwaukee, we don't have the appeal of a Los Angeles or a New York or a Miami. We tend to look for players who would be proud to be part of this organization. Someone who can really take pride in being a Milwaukee Buck. Someone who's willing to spend their entire career as a Milwaukee Buck. Are you that person? See, I don't know. The only cool person I ever knew from Milwaukee is my homie Prophecy the Great. When the going got tough, even he packed up and left. See, I'm a big city kind of guy. I don't think Milwaukee's the right fit for me. Let's see, one more question, if you don't mind. Talk about what you have to improve on as you make the jump to the next level. We'd like to see what you think about your game as a whole. Listen, man, there's really only two kind of bucks that I like. A buck naked ass I can slap, and some bucks that I can stack. You guys don't have none of that out there, so why don't we just end this conversation? Nice performance tonight. I'm GM and President of Team Operations for the Dallas Mavericks. We are picking 17th in the upcoming draft and are very interested in what you bring to the table. Alright, let's get to it. Here in Dallas, we have an owner whose goal for this franchise every year is to bring home a title. He's willing to spend a lot of money to make that happen, as he has proven in the past. We bring players in, and if they don't perform, we bring in new players who will. There's a lot of pressure to perform here. Do you think you can handle that kind of pressure? You mean Mr. Dot Com himself, the billionaire Mark Cuban? Yeah, I would like to come out to Dallas and chill with my homie D-Man and my man Fox. But I saw what you guys did to my man Lamar Odom from South Jamaica. Nah, I think I'll pass. Interesting. Next question. Being in the NBA brings a lot of responsibilities, and some people just aren't ready for it, if you know what I mean. What are your plans once you get that first paycheck? Hmm, with my first paycheck, I think I'm going to start a company called Micro Solutions and then flip it for like $2 million. May even start a website called Broadcast.com and flip that for like $6 billion. What, you don't think it's possible? Me neither, so tell Mark Cuban to get off his high horse. Come out and play some Okay then, I think we got what we needed. I appreciate you taking the time to meet with us. Good evening and welcome to the 2012 NBA Draft. For 60 of the world's most talented and dedicated young players, tonight marks the culmination of years of hard work as their dream of playing in the NBA moves closer to reality. To all of the fans watching around the world and to those here with us tonight, thank you for joining us. And now, to the task at hand. With the 15th pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select the 20-year-old shooting guard from the Air Force Academy.
wrist, smash the status of my records. Used to rock a throwback, balling on a corner. Now I rock a telesuit, looking like a owner. No, I'm not a Jonas, brother, I'm a grown-up. No, I'm not. I use my. I move on with the only direction. Can't be scared to fail. Search of affection. Gotta keep it fresh. Girl.